Hello, I'd like to welcome all of you to today's tutorial. Today we will be discussing how to create a scene using a mixed media approach, a picture with a, an embedded Crazy Talk Animator 3 character. So let's get started. I took the liberty of going ahead and providing a picture and a character just to show you what this would look like. As you can see, we have a high resolution photo and we have a character from Crazy Talk Animator 3. So I went ahead and constructed this and I will uh, go ahead and play it for you now just so you can hear and see a segment of it. Hello, welcome to this program. As a government employee, you have a unique opportunity to earn a prestigious credential. Okay, so as you can see, we have a scene, uh, we have a character, looks pretty realistic. This type of medium can be used for a lot of different projects. You may be doing some work-related projects, school-related projects, um, projects for personal fun or corporate training programs. So this is a fun project and I wanna go ahead and show you at this time how I constructed it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clear this out. And we're gonna go ahead and just start a new project. So I'm gonna come up here to the top where it says File, New Project. Okay, and that starts me out with a blank screen. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to pick a scene. So in picking a scene, I uh, have to decide what I want to put in there. I can use one of the scenes that are provided with the program. If I click on Scene, um, as you can see, there's a variety of different scenes that you can actually download from the content library, the content store at Reillusion, or you can choose your own scene. And so for this project, I'm going to choose my own scene. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to create up at the top again. I'm going to go to create media. I'm going to go to the right to background. And this is going to give me the option to search my hard drive. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to find the photo that I intend to use. So I go to the place where that's located, White House photo. And bam, as you can see, now I have my background. All right, so easy enough. So once I have my background, now I have to make a decision regarding what type of character I'd like to put into the background. So I can click on actor. Um, there are some custom characters that you can use. If you're looking for something specific, again, go to the content store. They have a plethora of different uh, characters, props, different scenes that you can use to enhance your the graphical presentation and the overall quality of your presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on character. And again, I'm going to use one of the characters that I purchased. So I'm going to go into um, G2 body. All right. And you here you can see I have a doctor and a nurse. So if I wanted to use those characters, maybe it's a healthcare presentation. I can go ahead and um, put the character in there. And the, the interesting thing about this is, even though the character is put in in a central location within the scene, I have the option of grabbing and dragging, just like this. If I left click on my mouse button and use my trackpad here, I can move the character left, right, or center, wherever I choose. So um, in most presentation formats, it typically tends to look better to put the character off to one side or the other, just to give it some uh, perspective. And so I can also stretch, make the person wider. I come to the right side here and I pull. As you can see, my arrow makes them a little bit thicker. And if I wanted to make them taller, I can do that, stretch him, or I can bring him back down to size. Now, you may want to move the character more forward or even backward. Um, so what you can do is up here where you see this arrow up at the top, if you click that arrow, that gives you the ability now to, to actually scale the actor in a different way. You can move him to the, the background or the foreground. So I'm gonna go ahead and move him here to the foreground. And again, I can click on, on this symbol here, which will allow me to move him, again, left, right, or center. So I'm gonna keep him over here on the right. Okay, so now you've got the basic layout, you got the picture, you got the actor. So now you're think, probably thinking, well, how do I get the voice? Well, what you do is you can actually click on the character, left click your left click button to select the character. As you can see, a box is formed around him now. Now I go over to the left 
side of the screen here and you'll see this little squiggly line right that it's create script it's got a little red dot next to it so you can't miss it it's distinctive as compared with the other icons on this side of the page so red dot remember that all right so you go to the red dot and you can click on that with your mouse and you have a variety of different options here you can either do your own recorded voice you can do text to speech or if you have a wave file um, sometimes other tools are used and incorporated like audacity if you have a voice sample that you want to pull in you can easily do that and um, another option is you can go to the crazy talk script where you actually type it in and, and you can um, have them script it and you would pay a, a minimal fee for so many minutes of scripted voice but I'm gonna use my own voice for this presentation so I'm gonna go ahead and just click record and you can see once I do that I have an option of of changing the microphone type and in this case I'm gonna use my Yeti stereo microphone so this red dot is the record button so if I wanted to give my character um, something to say I can go ahead and click that button so bear with me while I create a short script here hello I'd like to welcome you to the White House today I will be touring the White House and discussing health care concerns for my hospital and general health care topics at large hello I'd like to welcome you to the White House today I will be touring the White House and discussing health care concerns for my hospital and general health care topics at large if you have a computerized voice that you want to use that's fine I prefer to use my own voice I think it sounds more natural and you have the ability to do that and if you so choose or you can type a script in you can do a lot of different things so it's got a lot of options there as far as what your voice talent will be but um, the text-to-speech is good the lip sync motion as you can see is pretty good as well so that's how you can create a basic scene in less than five minutes just using a in this case a high resolution photo and a character that was that was used from the reillusion content store I'd like to thank you for attending this presentation thank you very much have a great day